Hello and welcome to The Handshake here on New Vision TV with me, Lynn Komjisha. I am joined by the New Vision business editor, Edna Ruth Mubiru. Edna, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lynn. Now, I have found out that uh, the sugar industry is one of the fastest growing, uh, contributing to over 290 billion shillings in taxes. But we saw last year, mm. towards the end, uh, the prices had gone very high. A kilo was going for about 8,500 around there. Now, there's been a drastic fall to about 2,000 something there. Mm -hmm. And now the Minister of Trade and Industry, Amina Chambadi, said that all this is due to an alleged smuggling going on yes. from Kenya. Sugar is being smuggled into the country uh, from Kenya. How? Why? <laughs> we have all these sugar industries around us. What's happening? Um, well, there are business people that don't play by the rules. Okay. Yes, and they're always trying to explore whatever loopholes right. are available. So smugglers are really trying to reap where they've not really sold. <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. So uh, the it's not a good thing, of course, yes. because if you've smuggled, you've, you've definitely distorted the market yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. Yes, so it's, it's a sad thing. I hope the culprits are <laughs> apprehended. <laughs> so tell me, how does it... I still don't get the math. Hmm. From 8,000 and something to 2,000, hmm. in just a space of about four, three months there. Hmm. This is crazy for us. Yes, because if they've flooded the market, you know how it is, demand and supply. Yeah. So they've flooded the market, so there's too much. Definitely the people, if, if um, at 8,000 mm -hmm. you have a certain number of people who are playing in the market, yes, yes. then you get another guy who brings in his sugar. He hasn't paid mm. any taxes on it and then floods the market. Mm -hmm. Definitely the prices are going to go down. They'll sell it at a low price mm -hmm. because they want to get it off their hands. Allegedly, it is duty-free as well. We don't have duty-free sugar coming in. That's what the minister said, mm. we that, that it, mm. the smuggled sugar mm. is also duty-free. Yes, yeah, because they're using back channels. They are not ah. going, you, they don't even know where this sugar is coming from, you see. So it's getting into the market, and because it's not tracked, nothing is paid on it. So it's a, a big loss, you know, you have somebody selling sugar, but no taxes paid off. So you and I don't benefit the sugar industry in the that country yeah. suffers, you know. And because <laughs> they are also a big employer, the sugar yes, industry yes. is a big employer. Yes. And they employ at household level. These are people with acreage of cane. So it's a big problem if we can't buy, if we cannot employ these people that have been supplying our cane. Mm then it's a major law. So a few people benefit by right. bringing this sugar onto yeah. the market. They haven't paid taxes, but you have such a big loss at the end. Um, the industries have also cut production because- Of course. And they have, now they've cut production, they have stocks that are not being bought because there's this other sugar, that yeah. cheaper sugar on yeah. the market. So it's a big mess. It's a big <laughs> mess. Yes. It's really a mess. Mm. And I know most of you are very excited about the, pr the low prices and, and stuff, but you do not know what this is doing to our economy. Mm. So Edna, mm. as this goes on, are, are there ways of mitigating it? One, the uh, most immediate thing would be to uh, plug the loopholes. Like how? how is this sugar getting in? Okay, okay. Yes, if you can plug those loopholes, you are said they impounded some sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's that, actually. That came in illicitly. Yes. So that's a good start. If they can keep grabbing all this that is coming onto the market mm. and then stabilize the production, the, the companies, stabilize yes. production yes. for the other companies. Yes. Eventually it should even out, it should be able to, you know, regulate itself and go back to where it's supposed to be. Right. Yes, they should be able to produce at the, at the right amounts. Mm. Uh, they should be able to produce, to supply the, uh, what are they, the, the products. The byproducts, the, yes, 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 the byproducts mm. to the other industries that need them. Yes. But uh, the other thing that can be done, which mm. you also spoke about, mm. is making sure that we open, we get new markets for our sugar. Because ah. it doesn't help 
a, a sugar producer to have stocks in their stores you know, and no one is buying. And no one is buying. Yes, so uh, it would be good to find new markets. And considering how sugar is always a sticky issue, <laughs> yes, <laughs> for is. every yes, yes. For, for different governments. But yes. if we can talk to our partners, the, the countries that we are working with, yes. Uh, integration issues, EAC, mm -hmm, COMESA, mm -hmm. we should be able to find a way of opening up new markets for that sugar that we've got so that the, the current producers don't suffer yeah. and if sugar comes from the outside mm -hmm. it doesn't distort the market so badly. Oh, I hope I hope they find a solution pretty soon. Yeah. So those of you rejoicing that you're buying sugar very cheaply, Rambi, uh, <laughs> don't, 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 don't really be excited. Something could be going wrong. And I hope our economy can stabilize really soon. Sugar is always a very, very uh, interesting beat. It always creates a lot of issues. But well, the Minister of Trade and Industry is on it, so we hope it will be rectified. Thank you so much, Edna. Thank you, Lynn.